Hello everyone, this is Urvi and in this video we will be discussing the hierarchy processor transformation that is used for complex data processing in CDI advanced mappings. The agenda of this video is to understand what is hierarchy processor and when should it be used. Uh, we will also be covering the types of data processing operations that can be achieved through this transformation. So uh, the hierarchy processor transformation is used to process data for complex data sources or targets like uh, JSON, XML, Parquet, Avro, etc. The input to this transformation can be hierarchical or relational while the target can be relational, hierarchical or flattened denormalized output. The hierarchy processor is available for CDI advanced mappings and is an alternative to the transformations like hierarchy parser or hierarchy builder that are used uh, and available only for plain CDI use cases. So this is primarily for CDI advanced which means the runtime process will be through advanced clusters like uh, on uh, Kubernetes Spark engine uh, which is a preferred option in terms of performance while uh, uh, processing huge data sets. So it can process large data volumes and um, which primarily reside on ADLS Gen 2 or Amazon S3. Coming on to the hierarchy processor uh, operations um, for data processing modes, we have uh, four types. The first one is the hierarchical to relational. This is for converting one hierarchical group uh, for example, from JSON or XML or Avro or Parquet um, to uh, and it converts to, uh, to multiple output groups. Uh, for example, delimited file or relational databases. The second one is the relational to hierarchical and this is used for converting relational input groups to one single hierarchical output group. The third one is hierarchical to hierarchical. This is for converting one or more hierarchical input groups to a single hierarchical output group with a different schema. And the fourth one uh, is hierarchical to flattened denormalized output. It is uh, for converting one hierarchical input group to a single flattened denormalized output. So this is the basic idea for uh, using the hierarchy hierarchical processor transformation in CDI advanced mappings. For more information and further reading, you can uh, refer to the cloud data integration uh, transformations guide and refer to the hierarchical transformation processor transformation section. You can also match, uh, watch the YouTube videos for more understanding on the creation of hierarchical to relational or uh, relational to hierarchical mappings or uh, modifying the schema for hierarchical data in the elastic mappings. We would love to hear from you, hence please reach out to us and provide your feedback. Thank you.